What is up YouTube? It's Matt Moros back here today. Uh, we are in front of our M5 111 Kubota and our M6 101. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about what the last storm meant to us and meant to me. So the last snowfall, as you guys seen in last week's uh, video, <laughs> it fucking we, we killed it guys we actually did it we made our dreams come true an entire year of battling with my customers battling with flaws internally within my organization battling with demons inside of me I, I struggled with alcohol I struggled with many different things but one whole year later the longest 12 months of my entire goddamn life and we did it for whatever you're obsessed with whatever you find yourself driven towards chasing um, once you accomplish it, you kind of slow down a little bit. So having the emotional maturity to realize that that's kind of how my brain is going to work now, feeling like I kind of figured out the formula and that scaling is almost going to be too easy now. Not to dumb it down. I'm not saying that uh, it's going to be easy. It's Trust me, it's going to be hard. I, I think I'm more acclimatized to the types of hardships that are coming my way and I think I'm more prepared. Having the emotional maturity to, to sit back and reflect and say, okay, here we are. This worked. I'm 21 years old. I have a business. I'm close to paying off these tractors. I have hundreds of reliable clients. I have Moncton on the way. I have over 14 tractors localized in that region, ready to go and kick some ass. Um, we're ready to get here back up to around six tractors. We're starting to accept all of our, our quotes and stuff. And you know, you need to sit back and reflect, especially as a young man, and question why are you doing this? So if, if you find yourself doing something like this for money, um, of course money has to be involved. Um, but I recommend chasing your heart. So the money will follow, actually. Um, so when it comes to music or, or when it comes to anything of those sorts, follow your heart, chase your dreams, do what it is that your heart inside wants so bad um, for your future. You know, if you're a young man out there, if you find yourself in a position where you don't know really what you're, you want to do with your life, you know, you're at that 19, 20 year old, you're kind of in between being a boy and a man, and you are, uh, you know, you're not sure, you're in school maybe because you feel like your parents are making you, um, you don't really have anything, you might be good at it, but you might not be able to say that you are actually in love with any sort of, of concept of work. Um, you need to really do some self-reflection and figure that out. I, uh, I was in medical school for, you know, bio, bio and psychology is my double major. And I was, you know, on, on a route to, to write my MCATs and to, to pass that. So I guess I wasn't in medical school, but I, I was in my undergraduate degree with the goal of medical school, hence the name Dr. Snow Removal. Um, and then I listened to my heart. So I'm not going to say it was easy, guys. If my failures and if my, my stumbling and learning how to walk like a toddler, if, if this can be beneficial to you guys, then fuck it, man. Like, enjoy it. Enjoy the fucking journey and just have some fun. So, you know, we got music underway. We got music videos being recorded. I've been very busy, just not a lot with you guys. Um, we got music videos. We got an album, two, three different album cover photos that I'll be releasing to you guys here soon. We have an album called If I'm Being Honest, which I talked about probably about seven or eight videos ago. Um, now that is going to be an album that, that will be probably the first one to release. Uh, we have a rock album, which I think is very badass. And that rock album is coming out, I want to say around the springtime. So we got an album cover coming out for that. And then we also have a, an, an acoustic album, kind of like a Noah Kahan or, a, you know, something like that. On an acoustic album um, with a lot of a raw emotion uh, displayed. So you guys uh, are capable of anything. I'm not just a fucking kid on a, on your phone screen right now on a YouTube channel. I'm the exact same as you guys. I'm a young fucking dude that hangs out with his buddies, has a bunch of fun. Um, but I just, I, I centralized my energy towards a goal that is now common among me and my staff. And I believe we really do have the atmosphere and the energy required to pick ourselves up and continue to go forward. I wanted to give you guys an a post-storm review of how these two units functioned with 15 centimeters of kind of wet snow. Now it's important to notice before I get into this that these two tractors right here were designed with the purpose of completing residential snow management. These are in no way, shape, or form a commercial snow management rig. So to our left we have our Kubota M6, 
101. To our right, we have our Kubota M5 111. Name is Lambo. So Lambo drives this tractor for this winter. Lambo's been with us for two seasons now. And he is one of our best equipment operators. She thinks my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. Now, it's important for a tractor like this to be able to perform, to have an operator who can also perform. This tractor was my slowest tractor at one point last winter because of the operator. Now it is my quickest because of the operator. So this tractor is actually going to be able to top out at a quicker road speed than this bigger tractor while having a smaller fuel tank and being able to hold the same, same size blower. So this is truly a magnificent piece of machinery. The only thing that we are still waiting on, which I've mentioned in my videos already, is we're waiting for some front ballast and we're waiting for our fuel cell mount. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but we have a jerry can on the M6 and that actually did come in handy the first storm we were out for 16 long hours. I'd say this tractor, because of the way Lambo kind of got out of it and needed some, uh, needed some uh, therapy, I'd say that uh, it performed at a good eight out of 10. Um, for what it was and for what it was equipped with, it performed wonderfully. One of the things that I will note is if you guys are out there, if you guys find yourself working with FoloSoft or FoloTrack as your route management and business management software, wonderful system. I would recommend highly that you do so. It has changed the entire atmosphere of my business, but get your own mounts. The tablets they give you are phenomenal. The setup is great. The software is fantastic. The RAM mounts they give you are absolute fucking dog shit. They, uh, they don't stick. I don't know why they thought using a suction cup mount was going to work when you're bouncing down a road for 16 hours. It's going to fall off. I can't even keep a suction cup mount in my goddamn truck. So get one of those bicycle mount ones that you can really bolt on and uh, take it from there. Over here we have our M6. Now I'd say that this tractor, this one worked at a 10 out of 10. Although it has a slower road speed and it's a bit more big and it causes more of a, a, a ruckus when it shows up somewhere. It, uh, it really overall, it performed flawlessly because these Nokian tires are substantially larger than the Nokian tires found on this M5. These Nokian tires loaded, these are also loaded, but these have a lot more ballast. And also due to the larger chassis size, it's able to handle that counterweight of the blower a lot better than this M5 is able to. And of course the nose is a lot bigger. So there's a lot more weight in the front of this tractor, a lot more cab room. Overall, this would be the tractor that I would want to sit my ass in and I would want to operate for 16 hours. This tractor, probably not without the ballast. Um, but overall, this tractor, guys, it worked at a, at a 10 out of 10. This tractor here worked at, like I said, about an 8 out of 10. I'd say overall, guys, that first dispatch was a total, like, said and done. I'd say we got it a good 9 out of 10. I'd say we got a good A- minus on that exam. So guys, right here we have our Nokian front tires on our Kubota M6 101 snow tractor. Um, and as you guys can tell, in comparison to the M5's Nokian snow tire, it is substantially smaller. And uh, obviously with the chassis size difference between these two tractors, there is certainly going to be a, uh, a localized weight in the back of that M5 that is going to cause us some headache. So if we come back here just to show you guys briefly what kind of happened, um, got to be careful as you guys can tell we got rust coat all over these blowers. It's important to keep your stuff lubricated. Um, so guys, what happened to this last snowstorm is we had a shear bolt that failed to be a shear bolt. We had a shear bolt that failed to break. This led to an unnatural amount of pressure within the snow blower. And as you guys can see right here, those are welds. So right there is where it snapped off. So that ripped entirely off and destroyed the fan of this snow blower, essentially rendering this entire unit useless. So if you guys do not recall, over here, we actually have our backup snow blower. And it is a piece of shit. We got this for free. We have another Pronovost on the way to be a better backup blower. Needless to say, this machine was not ready to go out. So luckily we called in our reinforcements and had this issue fixed. Overall guys, you know, I'm very grateful for the way it turned out. It could have went a lot of different ways, but overall, you know, we really aced it. We, we, we played with what we were dealt and we reacted as a team very well. So, you know, snow removal is like a pressure cooker. When you're in it, anything can happen and anything can make that pop. But we pulled through and we did it as a team and I'm very proud of my crew and I'm very proud of my name.
anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of stupid video. Um, there's not much to show for this week. It's the snow has kind of stopped. We don't have anything in the two week forecast. I'm sure I'll be picking you guys up and letting you guys some more about know some more about my life, my music and the snow removal shit um, as we go. But I'll pick you guys up on the next one. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really appreciate you guys following your hearts just like I'm following mine. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the next one. 21 like the C71 package on the Duramax. Yeah, you know this shit slapping. Boots laced up, bury it to my boot cuts. Big tires don't get stuck up on the little ruts. Country rap, please don't label this as that. I can rap, but I just don't need that crap. You can do your best to try to classify me, but this shit goes hard for everyone like me. Bye, have a beautiful time.